Get ready, I'm gonna show you the secret to super fluffy waffles and you don't have to separate your eggs. Plus, you'll love what else you can use this batter for. Hey, everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Homemade waffles are easy peasy. You probably already have all the ingredients to make these. They come together in one bowl and our tip is genius. Check this out, let's get started. In a large mixing bowl, add two large eggs and you can get these right out of the fridge. There's no need for room temperature ingredients in this recipe. <laughs> oh, no what? Don't worry, we can still use this for breakfast. <laughs> All right. All right, now in with the eggs, we're gonna add two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Use an electric mixer to beat those together on high speed for about three minutes or until the mixture is fluffy. The air you incorporate into the eggs and sugar will help the waffles rise and it is the key to super fluffy waffles. Next, add half a cup of oil. I'm using a light olive oil, but you can also use canola or vegetable oil. Also add one and three fourths cup of any kind of milk, whether it's low fat or whole milk and two teaspoons of real vanilla extract. And I love using my homemade extract. It has just two ingredients and I will link to it in the notes. Now in a separate bowl, we're gonna quickly whisk together the dry ingredients. You'll need two cups of all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Whisking the dry ingredients together ensures that you don't get any clumps of baking powder. Now add your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients and mix on low speed just until it's well combined and fairly smooth. You should still see some small lumps in the batter. You can see what the consistency looks like. The lumps in the batter are totally normal and you want them to be there. You don't wanna over mix your batter. Over mixing will develop the gluten more and will create tough and rubbery waffles. So having those lumps in the batter will ensure your waffles are super soft and fluffy. You can use the same batter in either a Belgian waffle maker like this one or a classic four square waffle press like this one from Allclad. This one's my favorite. I love its nonstick surface and that it makes four waffles at once. Preheat your waffle iron depending on how crisp you love your waffles. We set ours to about three and a half. Grease the waffle iron if needed and add enough batter to barely fill the grooves of the waffle press. You don't wanna overfill your waffle maker or it will leak out of the side. Now cover and cook until the timer goes off or until you reach your desired doneness. I love when they're golden in color. This ensures the outside is a little crisp and the center is still soft. Transfer those to a serving platter or to a wire rack. Repeat with the remaining batter to make more waffles. If you wanna serve the waffles all at once and keep them warm, place them onto a baking sheet and pop them in the oven at 175 degrees Fahrenheit until you're ready to serve. Now I'm gonna show you our favorite mix-ins and flavor variations to keep your waffles exciting. You can add fresh blueberries right into the batter and stir it to combine, or if using frozen blueberries, make sure to toss them in a teaspoon of flour first. You can also make chocolate chip waffles. This is my daughter's favorite. Mix in some mini chocolate chips right into the batter. This last one is my favorite. It adds subtle but really nice flavor to zest some lemon into your batter. Let me know if you have any creative ideas for flavor mix-ins and variations. I would love to hear from you in the comments. I'm gonna cook up the rest of these fun waffles to show you what they look like once they're done. The blueberries burst inside the waffle making every bite memorable. And you'll love how the chocolate chips just melt into every waffle groove. It's like having dessert for breakfast. And the waffles with lemon zest make my kitchen smell so good. That is a boatload of waffles. <laughs> but this is good news because these are freezer friendly. It's like the ultimate breakfast meal prep and they reheat so well. You can pop them in the toaster 
or the air fryer directly from Frozen, which is awesome. So quick and easy for breakfast. My kids love these in the morning. So just stack them in a freezer safe bag. Boom, boom, boom. Zip them up and into the freezer they go, okay? We're gonna taste test now because I am so hungry and I'm totally craving these waffles. <laughs> okay, and now decisions, decisions. Which one shall I taste test? This is really difficult. <laughs> There's so many. Okay, we're gonna go for the classic. Although they are all so good, we're just gonna hit the classic. Okay, and my favorite way, and the classic way to serve waffles is just to pile them high with berries. Okay, just pick your favorite berries or whatever fruits in season. Stone fruit is so good with waffles. Super delicious. You can even use frozen fruit, some strawberries. Okay. That is a tempting, tempting stack. <laughs> okay, and then last but not least, some real maple syrup to finish these off. Maybe I needed a bigger plate. <laughs> okay, I eat with my eyes, you know. A common problem. <laughs> All right, here we go. You can hear that little crunch. What I love about homemade waffles is they have that little crunch. Crisp on the outside, airy and soft on the inside. Get some berries on there. Oh. Mm. Mm. These are so satisfying. <laughs> and at the same time, they're really light and fluffy. Oh, I could eat these every day for breakfast and not get tired of them. Especially when you change things up. I mean, the blueberry, the chocolate chip, and that little bit of lemon zest. It's our secret ingredient also in our lemon ricotta pancakes. Just a little bit of lemon zest just really takes them over the top. It makes them taste fancy, but it was easy. I love that. <laughs> and you can even use these same waffles to make savory waffles. Try this. Pile it high with sliced avocado, then top it with a freshly cooked poached egg where it has that runny yolk and put a little bit of paprika on there. Slice through it and it is the most incredible breakfast my husband's favorite. I hope you guys try that. And one more thing, if you don't have a waffle press, it doesn't even matter because, here's the little secret, this batter works perfect for making pancakes. All you need is a good nonstick skillet and some butter and just cook them as pancakes. I hope this becomes a new favorite go-to breakfast for you. We'll see you in our next video.